onion glock, onion G, onion bread. Pull up on the lock. Now he dead. YouTube, what's goody? It's your boy Haynes, man. Back on this NBA 2K22 current gym. But hold on. It don't matter what y'all boys got to do. Just make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all boys are new. But, man, I got a new build for y'all boys, man, in the builder screen, man. Got the best Devin Booker rare build in the video game, man. Yes, the best rare Devin Booker build in the video game. I haven't seen this build at the park at all. I've seen, like, one or two videos on this build, but I've never seen it at the park. You feel me? And this may be my season seven um guard bill, my true true guard bill. I know I make guard bills at like six, seven, you feel me? But this is a true true guard, bro. This is a true guard, bro. And I got y'all boys, man. You feel me? But hey man, y'all boys already know we gotta go shoot guard, right hand, jersey number one for that main man, Devin Booker. Now I know Devin Booker would probably bleed the mostly green and blue pie chart. But I wanted to have more slashing in order, and in order to get this name, you would have to go this pie chart right here. So let's go to mostly blue and green pie chart. Y'all boys already know you can go the speed pie chart, but y'all boys already know I'm going to speed invert. Now we want to max out close shot, driving layup, and driving dunk. That gives us right at 15 finishing badges. Want to max out mid range, three point, and free throw. That gives us right at 16 shooting badges. I know, you feel me, he has more of a post fade than a, um, than a free throw really in 2K purposes, but I put up free throw because I rarely do post fades to be honest. Wanna put up ball control, ball handle, post control, and go all the way up to 76 on a passing action. They give us right at 16 playmaking badges. Makes our perimeter, lateral, steal, defensive rebound, and put the rest on our block. So 15, 16, 16, and 6. That is pretty, pretty well rounded, you feel me? And if y'all boys hit um level 39 from season two all the way up until now, I would say put one badge. Well, I would say put all your badges in defense, to be honest, because everything else. You really only need 15 finishing, 16 shooting, and 16 playmaking or do everything you need to do, you feel me? So, I would say put all your um extra badges into defense, you feel me? Just so y'all boys can have extra defensive badges to spread around, you feel me? But 15, 16, 16, and 6, that is a great badge spread count in my opinion. So, let's click continue. Want to stay compact on this build. Stay at 6'5". Minimize the weight. Well, we ain't got to minimize the weight. Let's go right here. 183. And we want to go down one, two, three from from regular. So the only downside of this build is you can get contact dunks, but you won't be able to equip contact dunks. Because if you go up one, they will the the build name will change you feel me so you have to go down right here to get this build name and plus it all depends which one do you value getting elite dribble moves or getting being able to um equip contact guns me i came to the ultimate conclusion that um what's gonna happen elite dribble moves is better than just having the ability to equip contact dunks, which I mean, in slash, in takeover, you will be able to get contact dunks anyway. So there is really a point in even having to equip them when you can get them in slash and takeover. So I value ha having the ability to equip elite dribble moves over contact dunks. But look at it, bro. 91 driving layup, you'll have a 95 driving layup at 99. You have an 83 driving dunk and take over your baby get contact dunks. You have an 87 mid range and 84 three ball, which is way more than enough to shoot it on the video game. 85 uh, 85 ball handling, which you're gonna get all the elite removals, which is insane. Everything in the um on your defense is gonna be well into the mid upper 70s, which is more than enough to, you feel me to um play defense with for real for real. And you have an, a subpar defensive rebound, but you're going to be playing the guard on this build. So you really don't even have to worry about 
defensive rebound that much. You wouldn't have to worry about the rebound at all, to be honest. But man, this is a well-rounded, a well, well-rounded build in my opinion. You feel me? Add plus eight to all of our physicals. That's gonna be a 90 speed, a 90 excel, a 92 vertical. Speed invert pie chart is the way, and a 55 strength all on a 6'5 build, man. You can't you can't ask for nothing better than this. You really can't ask for nothing better than this. Y'all see the takeovers, you feel me? Slashing, shot, sharp, and playmaking takeover. You can really choose either one. If we wanted to be Devin Booker, I would say go sh um go shot, create takeover. You feel me? If you want to be more like Devin Booker, but me. I'm going to go slashing takeover being that I already have an 80 plus mid range and an 83 ball. I don't really need that much um, of a, I don't really need that much of being a, a shot creator anyway. And plus I do want to be able to get contact dunks on this build. So I'm going to go slashing take, but sh shot and sharp, not bad, not bad at all in my opinion. But I'm going to go slashing take. And for y'all boys, we get a slashing shot creator. I haven't seen this build since really and truly 2K19. You feel me? When you had a double archetype. But man, slashing shot creator is a beautiful name in my opinion. You feel me? And look, we get Devin Booker in the shades of. But man, let's test this build out. You feel me? Show you the badge I'm going put on this build. And we're gonna get y'all boys up out of here. Gonna upgrade them to a 99. Now, for the um Finishing badges, I would go Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame, Slithery Finisher Hall of Fame, Silver Poster Rouser, Phyllis Finisher, Gold, and probably Unstrippable Silver. Just so you feel me, have a security blanket, Silver Poster Rouser, so when we in takeover, we will be able to get, um, we will be able to get contact dunks. Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame and Slithery Finisher Hall of Fame, Essential Badges and Phyllis Finisher on Gold. That's a pretty well rounded in my opinion. With the um shooting badges, I would go gold sniper, gold stop and pop, gold hot zone hunter, gold um catch and shoot, gold blinders, and probably silver difficult shots just so we can get a Devin Booker badge from some slight, some slight. With the playing again, I would go quick first step gold, hyper drive gold. Silver, quick chain, gold, handles for days, gold unpluckable, and probably silver stop and go. You feel me? Just so you feel me? We do quick stops really, really easy. That's how I would run it. And y'all boys already know my defensive, um, my defensive, um, badge loadout. We're gonna go gold clamps, silver rim protector, and bronze chase down. But man, hopefully y'all boys enjoyed this video, man. Got a lot more bills on the way. Got a lot of more bills on the way, man. You feel me? Getting ready for that season seven, man. We didn't play season six like that, man. Hey, it'd be like that. You feel me? This was a down season. But man, hopefully season seven brings me back to the game, man. Maybe hop on the game almost every day. But man, hopefully y'all boys enjoyed this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe if y'all boys are new. We still on that big, big road to 750 subs. And hopefully we hit it by the time this video comes out. But until then, we out. Yeah, my girl, I got a hollow tilt on top of my green. Nigga, run up on me, don't shoot on the scene. Shoot on play at the scene.